Typically, when you want a minimal surround sound system with the ability to place speakers in less than ideal locations, you inherently have to sacrifice sound quality. Well, Sony has aimed to solve that issue with their HT A9 home theater system. But is the A9 really worth all the hype? Or are you better sticking to an old fashioned sound bar? Let's find out. <laughs> The HT A9 system consists of four cylindrical speakers with a flat back, allowing you to place or mount them against a wall, on a credenza, bookshelf, or a speaker stand. Finished in light pearl gray with grills on the top and wrapped around the sides, they look great in a modern living room or a media room. And because they're wireless, you only need to plug them into power instead of running speaker cables, allowing you a lot of flexibility in placement and much less clutter. Now, due to their sound field optimization technology, you can move your speakers where needed, even if you must put them in non-traditional locations. And we'll discuss more on that tech later on. All four speakers wirelessly connect to a hub that serves as the brain of the system. It's a small black box resembling an Apple TV, but is about an inch taller and wider. On the rear of the hub, you'll get a LAN port, USB update input, HDMI out with an ARC and EARC, HDMI 2.1 in, and a center channel out to connect to a compatible Sony TV. Inside each of the four speakers, there's a soft dome tweeter, one mid-bass driver below it facing forward, and one angled on the top for those height effects. Sony also includes dual microphones on each speaker unit used for calibration. And each speaker is powered using Sony's S-Master HX digital amplifier, which uses less energy to produce the same signal as a traditional analog amplifier. And there are 12 amps inside the system for a total of 504 watts of total power. And both drivers inside the speaker unit utilize X-Balance speaker designs, which are more rectangular in shape compared to a traditional circular driver unit. When you're designing a small speaker, it can be hard to make the sound match that of a full-sized bookshelf speaker. So we're happy to see Sony use tech like this to maximize the diaphragm area on the driver. This larger diaphragm allows for richer bass and reduces driver excursion while maintaining sound pressure, resulting in less distortion and greater vocal clarity. The HT A9 can play back Dolby Atmos content, DTSX, standard surround sound formats, and high-res audio, wired or wireless. It also supports Sony's 360 reality audio format, which is an immersive way to listen to live concerts or studio sessions. Sony has even included their DSEE Extreme technology, which they've developed to use artificial intelligence to upscale compressed music files in real time to restore the high range sound that gets lost in the compression. Now the hub will support 8K, 4K 120 pass-through, Dolby Vision, HLG, and HDR. In addition, you get support for Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Chromecast built-in, Spotify Connect, and Apple AirPlay. Now, Sony has certainly covered their bases in terms of connectivity, making it a breeze to watch and hear your favorite content. Now, although technically the A9 is a 4.0.4 system, Sony utilizes their 360 spatial sound technology that adapts to your environment and creates up to 12 phantom speakers, even though there's physically just four in the room with you. This makes it feel as though you are surrounded by all sides and envelops you in a bubble of realistic sound, placing you right inside your favorite film. To make the 360 spatial sound feature work so well, no matter what your room or speaker layout is, Sony includes their sound field optimization feature. Now this feature runs a series of test tones to detect each speaker's horizontal and vertical position in your room, allowing it to map out and create those 12 phantom speakers all around you. And if you own a Sony Bravia XR TV, the A9 will be the perfect companion for it. You can control sound settings and volume for it using the TV remote and access all the menus with its integrated UI on the Bravia TV. This makes changing settings super simple as you don't have to go back to the A9 setup screen as often. And at this point, you're probably wondering, okay, where is the center channel? We'll discuss more about this in our performance section, but Sony also has you covered with a cool feature here. You can connect your A9 hub to your Sony Bravia TV and utilize the TV as your center speaker, adding another channel to the system to further immerse yourself in the surround sound. So now that we've explained all of the technology packed inside the Sony HTA9, Let's discuss how we set it up and how it actually performs. Setting up the HT A9 could quite possibly be one of the easiest setups that we've ever experienced. We used a Sony TV and connected it to the A9 hub via HDMI. 
On the bottom of each speaker is a clear label that tells you if it's the front right, back right, front left, or back left speaker. And even if you place them in the wrong locations, during the next calibration step, Sony will alert you and tell you to move them to the correct location. Now to put this system to the test, we place them in a few different configurations at different heights and different distances from our listening position. We wanted to create a real world simulation where someone who has a living room where they either can't place them all in the perfect location or just simply don't want to because of aesthetic reasons. Since this is a huge selling point for why someone would want the A9 rather than another system, we did all of our testing with this less than ideal speaker location setup to really put it to the test. After the hub was connected to power in the TV via HDMI, we plugged each speaker into power from the port on the bottom and powered each one on with the power button underneath. Sony's on-screen menu leads you step-by-step step to set up the entire system. It's important not to skip this step as this is where it confirms the speaker locations and it runs the test tones to optimize and map the speaker layout for your specific room. Now we first played one of our favorite Dolby Atmos scenes from the Atom Project movie on Netflix without making any other tweaks besides running the initial setup. And it was immediately clear that the system sounded great but it just lacked that bass response that we were hoping for in the big action fight scenes. Now, when we did our initial testing when the A9 was released over a year ago, we actually heard the same exact thing, so we weren't too surprised by this. We redid the initial setup on the Sony on-screen menu, and this time we paired up the Sony SAW5 subwoofer. After playing the same scene again, the difference was night and day. The low end now filled the room with more even coverage and actually allowed the dialogue and Atmos effects to be more pronounced than before. And it takes it from being a standard surround sound experience to becoming a really fun, immersive, and believable one once you add that sub. In our opinion, get the SAW5 in addition to the A9 if you really want to get the most out of this system. Now we tried out a few other different Dolby Atmos movies such as Six Underground and The Atom Project, The Irishman, Red Notice, all of these on Netflix. And with every single one, we were thoroughly impressed. Even with the speakers moved around in less than ideal locations, the height sound effects still seem to bounce correctly off the ceiling and the walls to create that big bubble of sound that Sony was really aiming for. Although, as with any system that relies with bouncing sound off the ceiling for height effects, it's really important that you have a ceiling that's about 10 feet or shorter and preferably a hard surface with no lighting or fans in the way for the effects to sound natural and bounce back to your ears correctly. During Six Underground, The Atom Project, and Red Notice, the A9 handled the dynamic swings of the intense action scenes with ease. Explosions, glass shattering, cars racing behind you, and gunshots whirling around your head were all extremely immersive and actually sounded like there were a lot more than just four speakers in the room with us. And I'd go as far to say as you may even actually trick some people into believing that there's 12 speakers in the room instead of just four of them. We next used the Irishman to test dialogue as well as some of the Atmos effects that aren't as loud and pronounced to see how well it handled those more subtle sounds. A scene we love is with four characters in a car talking. Now on a good system, you'll hear the subtle nuances in their voices and it should sound full and very clear. First, the A9 does a phenomenal job at creating a phantom center speaker and making the voices sound like they're coming directly from the mouth of the character on the TV screen. Second, the dialogue was clear and full, as if it was coming from a large, dedicated center channel speaker. It was really impressive. To further test the dialogue and the center channel feature with the TV, we plugged our Sony TV into the hub and activated it as the center channel. While it did seem to make some scenes a little more immersive, in our opinion overall, it actually took away from some scenes with the dialogue only, as the sound didn't quite match up to the quality of these A9 speakers. And this actually makes sense because you're asking a lot from the TV speakers to do all this work and match a much larger dedicated speaker. So while this is a really cool feature, we decided to let the A9 work its magic and use the Phantom Center channel, which just sounded a lot better to us. But still, a really cool feature that Sony has included. What was also super impressive to us was how well it actually sounded with Netflix content in 5.1. With the immersive AE feature turned on, movies sounded as if they were actually maybe even mixed in Dolby Atmos and not 5.1. That bubble of sound really came to life with just any content we played, which was really neat. It was also really nice to easily be able to turn the bass or the rear speakers up directly on the remote, depending on the type of content that we were watching. 
And if you're having trouble hearing dialogue, we were really impressed with the voice button on the remote, which made voices so much easier to hear during high action scenes. And of course, we then tested a few Dolby Atmos music tracks. While there are no treble, mid, or bass adjustments, Sony did include a music, cinema, and some other sound modes that do actually work really well. So we switched it from the cinema mode when we were watching movies over to the music mode and then tested the music. One song that was really fun was Billie Eilish's Oxytocin. The 360 bubble makes you feel like there are voices and instruments coming from all directions. We've listened to this song so many times in different Atmos theaters with headphones on and using different soundbars, but the A9 just had something unique about how it envelops you in these Dolby Atmos tracks. And I swear, at some points in this song, you would think there had to be speakers directly above you. The Atmos features just work so well. If you're looking for a minimal setup, but want to enjoy great surround sound and Dolby Atmos movies and music, the Sony HD A9 might be the perfect solution for you. 10 foot or lower ceilings with no obstructions and adding the SAW5 subwoofer are two additional factors that are really needed to get the most out of this system and really make it worth its price. The flexibility to place the speakers where it's most convenient instead of where you have to makes this system unlike most others on the market right now. To us, it will be really hard to find a soundbar that will beat this system in terms of overall immersion. The A9 actually starts to compete with a more dedicated separate speaker system, which is really crazy when you think about the price and the features that it comes with. Plus, the A9 has to be the easiest surround sound setup that we've ever done. Everything is wireless, connects automatically, and maps your room for the best sound within minutes of setup. No joke, we were literally watching our first movie within five minutes of unboxing the A9. Talk about an easy setup. The Sony HD A9 is going to be a phenomenal solution for some people. However, it may not be the exact right fit for you. If you're unsure or have more questions, stop by one of our award-winning showrooms or call or chat with one of our experts and we'd be happy to help you out. And if you're building your own home theater or media room, check out our free home theater design tool to help you get started. And remember, when you buy from Audio Advice, you're buying from a trusted seller since 1978. We offer free shipping, free returns, lifetime expert support, and our price guarantee. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, be sure to subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.